Hey guys, my name is Christian. I'm an offshore helicopter pilot, captain, instructor and an examiner for Bel Air Aviation. We are based in Europe. Our home base is SPR Denmark and we have a secondary base Den Helder, the Netherlands. That's where I'm based currently. We fly the AW139 and the AW189. Before I explain step by step how to become an offshore helicopter pilot, first a couple of words about the industry. The offshore industry is a very high risk industry. That means their employees are one of their main concerns to be transported from A to B, from shore to offshore in the most safe and efficient way. That means for us helicopter pilots, it is vital to understand the importance of an acceptable level of risk. It is one of the best paid industry for a helicopter pilot to work in. To become a helicopter offshore pilot, it's very important to set reachable goals. For example, being hired as a co-pilot in the offshore industry is a reachable goal. The requirements for a co-pilot to start in this industry are generally the same. It changes a little bit with the market requirements, but however, in general, it is the same. Around 500 hours total time, commercial helicopter pilot license, multi-engine instrument rating, an MCC course, those are generally the requirements. Now you know the requirements, what we as a helicopter company are looking for. Next step is how to get there. It started with the flight school. You have to find a flight school that offers PPL, CPL and an instrument rating within EASA. There are numerous flight schools around and it's important to find a flight school which is obviously approved as an approved training organization or ATO. And there's a lot of information in the description below about that. An approved training organization can offer the courses PPL, CPL and instrument rating, the things required to become a helicopter offshore pilot. The private pilot license or the PPL part first starts with theory and approximately 45 hours of flight time. Then the next step is the CPL, commercial pilot license. The commercial pilot license starts generally at 150 hours. So that means after your PPL, you need to be able to rent a helicopter from the flight school and build enough hours and experience for yourself to start a commercial pilot license. After the PPL is a very good time to study the ATPL theory. ATPL theory is airline transport pilot license theory. And then on top of the aircraft parts, there's a helicopter section. So actually the ATPL theory is the same as for fixed wing pilots. Added on is the helicopter part. Once you're done with the training, PPL, CPL and instrument rating, you're probably around 200, 230 hours. That means you're around 300 hours short for even applying for the offshore industry. Now, how to get these 300 hours? There are multiple ways. You can rent a helicopter per hour to build this time, but that's a very expensive hobby. Um, another one is maybe becoming a flight instructor that usually requires a bit of investment in a FI or flight instructor's certificate. But some flight schools, schools offer this service for a reduced amount with the trade-off that you need to work there for a period of time. But then again, you build hours, so that might be a decision. The other decision could be a flight school that is also or has good connection with a helicopter company. Some flight schools are actually part of a helicopter company and that means once you have passed your CPL, your commercial pilot license, even if you only have 200 or 250 hours, you can already start with flying helicopters for a living basically. Some companies offer this service, you don't get a lot of pay, that's the reality, but the good thing is you build hours and that's what you need in the beginning. Once you've reached your goal, you can actually apply for a job as co-pilot in the offshore industry. The process is generally the same for all offshore operators. It starts with your application with a CV, you'll be probably requested for an interview, then there's a grading part where we actually see how quickly you learn and how quickly you adapt in this environment. Then there's a psychology profiling and in the end a conversation with HR about the contract details. Now you know all the steps involved to become an offshore helicopter pilot, it's very important to know the key things about offshore flying. First of all, you need to enjoy flying with a colleague. Sounds a bit odd, but you've been trained to fly single pilot during the flight school. In helicopter offshore operations, we always fly in a crew concept. So you have to enjoy that part and be good at it. That's very important and a vital part for this industry. Second, the offshore industry is not such a glamorous industry. We really are a responsible, reliable business partner for the oil and gas companies. That's our job. So it's very important to be able to understand that part and actually enjoy that part. 
that was a short summary on how to become an offshore helicopter pilot. Please bear with me, it has been over 20 years ago for me to do the training, so some things might have changed. I have looked up as much as I could in EASA, but please go to your local flight school or look on the internet for an approved training organization for the details. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section below or a question if you have, I read them all. See you next time. Okay guys, I hope this gave a good overview of the steps involved in becoming an offshore helicopter pilot. I have made a small summary and overview in the description with some useful links. Here next to me in the cockpit you can see Jonas. He actually did the complete training recently and after the completion of the type rating course on the AW139, line training and all the other required company courses he now flies on the line. Qualified in both seats as a pilot flying and pilot monitoring. So sit back, have a look at how it's like to be part of the crew in the AW139 while we perform an offshore takeoff from the platform and fly back to shore. Once again, thank you so much for all of your great comments and suggestions, and see you all next time. Yes, both. Very good. Uh, time is uh, 5 5. Dive 5 5, Bluebell 5 6 Alpha lifting to 11 1 from the well, safe climbing 3 to speed back to the ground. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, uh, lift. Detection Two, copy. No cautions, no warnings. Tady torque, eight nose up, and a stable. Checks are completed. Uh, 100. 100, coming a little bit to your side. Uh, here. Left is clear, tail is clear, right aft as well. Yep. Very clean winds. Thank Beautiful. You. And 100, yep. take off. Check. Power, power, power is set. TDP. Vitos. Check. Must have climbed. Check. 300 feet is past. There is 500 feet. Yep. Uh, left is clear. And there is a VY. Back. In the left turn. And gears coming up. Uh, where are you going? I see. Perfect. Yep. And Two. Alt A and up. Alt enough selected. Alt A yes. And now captured. Check. Very uh, good. Start of feet. Rate of, rate of climb. Check. Maybe adjust it a little bit for comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay. I'll give a call to Amsterdam. Thank you. Amsterdam. Uh, Hello again. Blue Bell 56 Alpha. 56 Alpha. Welcome back. Thanks, sir. Airborne from the Welsh Protector, 1500 feet. Climbing altitude 3000 feet, 1 TB. Copying 620, back to the coin. ETA for Atrix is time at 25. 56 Alpha, Roger, identified passing 1800 now. Q9 still 985. 985, thank you. Blue Bell 5695. 985. Yep, via two times. Fine as well. I'll say goodbye to the Welsh Safe. Yep. ETA the coin. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Well said, protect the radio, the Blue Bell 56 is two way almost done. Thanks for today and uh, have a nice day. Our ETA is time 35. 56 Alpha, protect the radio, that's all copy, sir. We'll go to flight watch, estimated back at minute 35 and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, sit next one, bye. Uh, I service, Papa Kilo was one, pressing one. a button without success. There it goes, 655. One hundred to go. Uh, Leveling to ten feet. Three six beats. Not captured. Oh, we can do some cruise checks. Cruise checks. Yeah, well, coming up. Altimeters. Uh, nine eight five said two times. This is nine two hundred. Mine as well. Anti ice is off ten degrees. TCP systems. I'll have a look. Thank you. There we go. Plastic surgery. Cheese and peas, all good and normal systems. Hydraulics, good, no bypasses. And electrics, good, best eyes open. Moving. There's done the radar. Is in well mode. The floats, uh, up. Landing lights, is off the. The fuel, yeah, the more than sufficient. Uh, yeah. Just checking it away. Did. So. Three hundred, so five hundred maybe. Yeah, good. Cruise checks completed. Yep. Yeah.